<clears throat> Hi everybody and welcome back for another video. Because my voice is very messed up right now because my surgery failed and because I have this print that I have to touch in order to speak, I'm going to do this video without much talking. If you want to know why I have the trait, all these scars, why I sound like this, you'll have to check out my health videos for that. And it'll be like this probably for a few more months until I can get another, another operator and learn how to speak with it. So anyway, there was a lot of makeup sales from Memorial Day and I got a bunch of new makeup in. And I'm going to go ahead and do a makeup look with the Bitch Cosmetics Digital Future palette. It, this is, oof. This is what it looks like. It's a very colorful. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the 13 or 16 shades are matte, neutral looking colors, and then nine of them are shimmers. I think I might want to go with the pink. I've already got foundation, I've got primer foundation and powder on. Not uh, uh, not using any concealer or any color correction or doing anything too heavy on my face as I get older, you know, it just, it doesn't look good. And I'm not doing anything with my hair today, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. I'm going to use this Kat Von D Wizard lipstick and I'm going to go ahead and put it on so my lips don't get any more dry than they already are. Alright, just uh, taking a fucking brush, I am going in to one of the matte colors. That one, because it's more of a pink tone, and I said I was trying to put a pink color. And then I'll probably use one of the other mattes to deepen, and then the two different pink shades on there. Go ahead and tell you that now so I don't have to keep talking, and we can just zoom this, zoom, fast forward, maybe. This is just a very, very light pink blush. Uh, it's cotton candy is the color from Phase Zero. I think it came in a French box. And I'm going to do just a little bit of highlighter. And this is a sample from, I forget which, what the name of the company is. Ritual, Ritual they feel, they're the ones that do the black anti-highlighter that was really popular a few years ago. I 
this side of my face is the one that is more ravaged by all the surgeries I've had, by the cancer, by the radiation for sure. And so it's almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like this side is my younger side and this side is my older side. Because, I mean, and this side even has, I feel like has been aged a lot through everything I've been through too. But this one is definitely taking the brunt of it. I used this um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's called Dark Side, it's a waterproof gel liner rather than a liquid liner just because I wanted something a little softer, more almost kind of grungy I guess. Alright, my thoughts on the uh, digital feature palette, it seems pretty standard as far as the formula, the makeup of the eyeshadow. Pretty standard for BH Cosmetics. I don't have a problem with it. It went on well. I didn't have any fallout. Uh, I'd say this was a really nice palette. I'm not a big fan of the pastel color. Uh, yeah, of like the pastel colors, but those are not too bad. Uh, as far as pa pastel palettes go. This one's not too bad. And other than the lipstick color that I chose today, really, I, I would just, I would do this to work. I didn't, I didn't do anything dramatic. Um, not when I was just wearing a t-shirt and my hair's on a ponytail. But yeah, I, this is something that I could easily wear to work without it being an issue of being too alternative looking or whatever. So, Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.